Hey there, builders. It is Dajawi here with another episode in my Blocks World Decoded series. And today I am going to be showing you how to get your little blocksters to walk around kind of like these guys are. A um, little bit at random, sort of not. Um, but I wanted to go in a little bit uh, of the AI portion. Um, it's not, this video is not going to be very long because this really isn't very challenging or complicated. Um, so without further ado, let me show you exactly how I do this. So as you can see, I've got my blocksters. I've got some stuff on their heads, which I'll go into. I've got a perimeter, as you can see, um, they are invisible. Uh, I don't really know yet what the difference is between the hologram blocks or the hologram texture and the invisible texture, but I will figure that out and I will get back to you on that uh, as soon as I can. So really quickly on the blocksters, um, what I've got, so don't worry about the little Sims symbol on this thing. I'm trying that out for something else. Um, I've got the regular blockster, I've got an action block on top that is connected to another invisible block in front of the blockster. And this was sort of the simplest way I could figure out to do it, just because um, if I move the block closer, um, it's going to interfere with the blockster. If I move, if I put the action block anywhere else, um, that also kind of interferes with the blockster. So just trust me on this, <laughs> I promise it'll work out for you if you use it yourself. I'm trying to figure out how to get this into the shop with the perimeter and everything, um, but I, I just don't know that I'll be able to do that. So without further ado, um, let me show you the block, because this is the biggest control piece. Okay, so first of all, I have the mass at zero because I don't want it to interfere with the movement of the blockster at all. I have on play, I have it as um, yellow, just to start it out as a color because it is going to change. And when it's, when it's yellow, um, it sends out a model signal to it for forward. And then, so that signal comes into the blockster and your forward here, don't pay attention to the right. That was a failed experiment in randomizing the direction um, that they turn. It might work for much bigger perimeters. I don't know. I haven't tried it on bigger stuff yet. So forward comes in and he goes forward, which he's going to be doing most of the time because the block is usually going to be yellow. Now, when this block hits another block, it turns orange. It waits for, you know, about three quarters of a second. Um, and then it turns yellow again. So what that does is the orange then sends out the left signal here and the left signal comes in and makes the blockster turn left. Seems simple enough. And then it's gonna do, he's gonna turn left for three quarters of a second and then he's going to, or the block's gonna turn back to gold, which you're not gonna see, because again, it's invisible, um, which is gonna move him forward. Now I've also tagged it as, your, as circle uh, because there are other things that you may wanna do with it. I don't have anything in here that uses the tag, but I will show you in a second. We'll flip the video over to um, to my other world really quickly because I don't want to give too much of it away since I haven't released it yet. And uh, I'll show you how you can use uh, the tags as well. Um, nothing really special on the perimeter except for the fact that the mass is set to 100. I ran into some issues when I put a freeze on it. So instead of that, I just basically made it immovable by the blockster by setting its mass so high that it, it can't, it literally cannot, um, cannot move it. So, and as you can see, when that invisible block that's in front of them hits one of the perimeters, they turn left. Um, and you could do a random, like one of them could turn right, um, or two of them or whatever. Uh, and it would look a little bit more random that way. Uh, this is sort of the easiest breakdown I had to make it uh, work pretty well and keep it pretty simple. This block, all it is, this is just a camera block um, so that you can orient, so I could orient the camera when I, I played the level. So let's shift over to my other world really quickly and I will show you how this works sort of in action. Okay, so we're here in my um, 
well, it's my Galactic Outpost world. Um, and I have got one of my programmed blocksters with the with the AI. And essentially, I'll explain the doors here in a second. But as you can see, he kind of wanders around. And it's, it's mostly random most of the time. Uh, he does hit some of the same blocks in the first, like, couple minutes. But then it really just kind of explodes from there. Because a lot of the times, he'll hit this block right here um, instead of walking past it. So he's set up exactly the same way. Um, he's got the little thing on the end. If you can see in the radar as I'm following him, he's tagged with a diamond instead of a circle because I had already used up some tags. So as you watch, he goes towards the door and he still, um, he doesn't go outside of it. And I'm going to explain that here in just, well, let's do it now. So let me go into the Blockster. Don't mind most of the stuff. Um, I will be releasing this world uh, closer to Christmas. Um, I want more people to see it, so I want um, people to be on Christmas break and that sort of thing. So I probably won't release it till next week. I have some refinements to make anyway. So this is exactly the same with the exception of the diamond tag. Uh, everything else is the same. The Blockster is a little bit more decorative, um, sort of Stormtrooper style, but uh, is pretty much the same as well. I can get rid of those rights. Now there's a lot of uses for this. Uh, you could essentially have, you know, a bunch of people walking around in a park. You could, uh, if you had some sort of disaster level, you could make people run around screaming, sort of at random. Um, but here's the deal with the doors. So I have a block here that's invisible, obviously. When the tag is beyond the block itself, and it's just set to the size of the block, and I haven't had any issues with it. Um, I've sort of tested and watched this guy walk around for quite a while, and it doesn't. I haven't run into any issues yet. So when he's beyond it, it's phantom. So the vehicles that I have programmed in here can get out, right? I've got all, I've got TIE fighters, I've got a Century tank, I'll have an ATST by the end of today. I've got speeder bikes. Um, so they can all get out, they're not gonna be messed up by, well, the TIEs wouldn't get messed up anyway, uh, but the speeder bike and the Century tank would. So when he's close to it, at the same distance, it turns solid. And what that does, if you keep it as phantom, this, the leader block, the control block on the blockster will not stop, it won't hit anything. It's gonna be phantom, so it doesn't hit any block. So I have it so that when, when that tag, when the diamond tag's close to it, it goes solid. So then when he hits it and moves out of that, that circle again, when he goes beyond it, it's going to go phantom again so you can get all the vehicles out um, and you can do everything that you want the level to do. In any case, uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, and I also did the same thing here in front of the speeder bikes because he kept getting stuck in the speeder bikes. The other thing that you could do, and I'll go over this really quickly, is if you didn't want that radius to be quite so big, um, you could bring it down to a smaller block and a smaller radius. Uh, make sure that the radius encompasses the whole block though. And then you could just, you could literally copy that. If you needed to get to the speeder bikes maybe a little bit sooner. Um, yeah. So the other thing that you can do is if you add too many people, it could get a little muddled around those blocks uh, but it seems to work pretty well, and I haven't had too much issue with it so far, again, under construction. So, as always guys, man, I hope this helps, because this is, this is kind of an awesome little deal. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, I'll be checking them probably a couple of times a week anyway. Go into Blocks World and follow me, Dajawe, D-A-J-A-W-E, to see all of my creations. Some of them are pretty cool, even to other people. Be sure to bell and like this video and channel to make sure you get all of my new videos when they come out. Thank you so much, and as always, like it if you like it. Dajawe, out.